Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this conventional dual spring ramp door spring for up to an 8 foot wide enclosed trailer. This has 160 pound spring capacity. Now this part will replace your old trailer door spring with this nice heavy duty conventional door, ramp door spring. This dual spring setup will let you easily lift and lower the door on your enclosed trailer without the risk of injury. It's designed to help take on the weight of your trailer door so that you don't have to. And this one is a dual spring design. This will eliminate the risk of the ramp door collapsing and causing damage or injury. Because what happens on the dual spring is if one of the cable fails, the other spring will prevent the trailer door from free falling. And this spring does reduce the wear and helps prevent damage to the door hinges on your trailer. Now this spring, when you install it, it is designed to be mounted one way for proper operation. It does have a right and a left side. And the way you can tell that is if you look on the drum, the cable drum here, they do stamp an R on it for right side. The other nice thing is they spray a little part of it black, so that color will let you know that the black, if you see the black, that's the right side. And if you look at this cable drum, it has a L stamped in it for left, but they also spray paint a red on there. So the spray paint color gives you a good visual indication of right or left side. But when you do go to install this, the right side, it'll mount on your curb side of the trailer. The left side will mount on the road side of your trailer. Now this spring can be modified to fit your specific application. You can actually slide the spring and cable drum down and then cut the shaft to a shorter length if needed for your application. The range this will fit on is anywhere from the widest is from this end to that end would be 95 and 5 8 inches. And the narrowest would be, again if we just loosen these bolts, and then slide the spring all the way. There's the bearing and then slide the cable drum with it. So that's the furthest you could go that way. So the minimum from this to this one would be 67 and 7 eighths. So basically this range would fit anywhere from a 67 to 7 eighths inch wide trailer door up to the 95 and 5 eighths inch wide trailer door. I'm just going to slide this back to the widest part. Just snug it down. Now this part does come with everything shown here. It comes with the spring, comes with the mounting brackets with the hardware for it, comes with 150 inches of 1 8 inch diameter cable and the hardware for the cable, and some set screw covers. This is a sturdy steel construction. It is made in the USA. Few specs again. The length from this end all the way to that end is going to be 95 to 5 8 inches. The diameter, which will be the drum diameter is the widest part, is going to be 4 and 3 quarter inches. Spring capacity is 160 pounds. Now just an installation warning when you go to install this, it is recommended that only individuals who have experience winding these torsion springs should install this product. So when you do start to wind the spring, it does get a lot of tension on it, so it becomes very dangerous. So if you've not worked with a torsion spring system before, we do recommend contacting a local garage door company to help you install this system. But that should do it for the review on this conventional dual spring, ramp door spring for up to an 8 foot wide enclosed trailer and has 160 pound spring capacity.